Hello and welcome back to Perfect Irish Trip. So for those that don't know, Perfect Irish Trip is a time-saving travel planning website. We can offer you a personalised tour of Ireland in which you take a quick quiz on our website and we get an understanding of what you like, what you like seeing, where you like staying, your sort of budget you have in mind for your trip to Ireland. And then we send you on a list of things that we think would make your Perfect Irish Trip. You have the option to book them or not to book them. Um, but it's all there, it's all the information we think you would need to help you save time planning your trip to Ireland or you can download one of our pre-made -down, pre -pre downloadable tours in which we have an eco-friendly tour of Ireland, a shopping tour of Ireland, a perfect photography tour of Ireland so there's a lot there so please be sure to check out the website linked below. Anyway, on today's video we're here to talk about the best Game of Thrones filming sites across Ireland. So I'm a diehard fan of the show. Um, we try to keep personal opinions aside here. Was I happy with how it ended? Um, mm -mm, but we are not here to talk about that. Anyway, Ireland is very beautiful, if I do say so myself. It gives a really good visual backdrop for many different shows from Game of Thrones to Vikings to Star Wars to uh, Penny Dreadful, there's so many to name. And actually there's a movie and film tour of Ireland available on our website below as well. It costs 25.99. Anyway, we're not here to talk about that. We are here to talk about the Game of Thrones filming sites. If you are visiting Belfast, you are in luck because most of the Game of Thrones scenes are filmed up there. The Game of Thrones Studios was up there. I think very soon actually there's gonna be even a Game of Thrones museum or a Game of Thrones center that people can visit. I don't know why they wouldn't build it because um, there was one a while ago and it just showcased all the different costumes that were used throughout various seasons. It was good, it wasn't great, it was good, it was cool. So a uh, Game of Thrones museum would be really really cool. I would personally love to see it. So some of the most known Game of Thrones scenes were filmed in Ireland. As I said they were filmed in on site in different castles or in different forests. They had the battle of the elements of weather when they were filming outside but I think we can all agree it just really added to the whole show to the scenes to everything so we're going to list out and I'm going to show you in photographs the different scenes where they are what scenes were filmed there and how you would know them so one of the most known sites in Game of Thrones that was filmed in Ireland is Castle Ward in County Down which acted as Winterfell for all the Starks any courtyard or castle scenes, these would have been filmed in Castle Ward. And I think you can see it does, it makes for a really grim and bad weather place, but it, it's beautiful. It's definitely worth a visit if you are nearby. Another place is Ballantoy Harbour in County Antrim, and that acted as Pike. So when Theon Greyjoy docked up for his ships in season one or season two, I think, um, his hometown harbour was filmed here in Ballantoy Harbour and it is also, if you just look away from the harbour when you get here or when you get there and you look to the other side you can kind of see these rocky shallow waters and they are where all the kind of christening scenes for any of the Greyjoys might have happened. So say when they are drowned and then they're reborn. These are filmed over there. So next on our list is Cushing Dunn Caves in County Antrim and this is where Melisandre birthed the demon in front of Davos Seaworth, Liam Cunningham's actor. Um, it makes for a really dark and dreary really cave and during the day it still has a kind of a real cool vibe and a cool look and a cool element to it and it's not said on anything but I'd have to take another tour, which I can do, to find out. But I also think it's probably where Jamie Lannister and, and Aaron Greyjoy had their battle or their fight scene in the last episode of Game of Thrones. It's in the cave just beside the water. I think that was filmed there. I could be wrong. So next on our list is Tullymore Forest in County Antrim. And Tullymore Forest is worth a visit even if you're not going to see anything Game of Thrones related. It's just a beautiful forest. It's actually the forest where any Winterfell forest scenes or any magical kind of forest scenes happen. It would be the forest where the Starks found the dire wolf pups. The Dark Hedges in County Antrim is a very popular destination now due to the filming that took place. It acted as King's Road where scenes were filmed for travels from Winterfell to King's Landing. Now my advice if you're going to the Dark Hedges either with a tour group or if you're traveling by car by yourself 
try and get there at not a peak hour, at not a peak tourist hour, because if you want to get kind of the perfect picture of this road, you just are, the chances are gonna be weighted against you when you see the amount of people that just go for five minutes just to take a picture. It's unbelievable. And like our tour driver that we had, he just said, you know, everyone just pick a line, stay behind the line and you can all get the picture that you want. But so many people just kept going farther and farther down the road, taking different pictures and you're just left there being like, oh, I just really want to get one simple picture of this. So get there early or get there late. Um, but it, it is a gorgeous road to check out. Another popular place is Larry Bain Quarry where in season two, Rennie Baratheon's camp base scenes were filmed. And it is a stunning landscape to see. It's, I think it's not too far from Kaikari Rope Bridge, which is another Game of Thrones destination. So it's definitely worth a look if you want to see it. And last but not least in this video of the popular Game of Thrones landscapes in Ireland is Carrick and Reed Rope Bridge. This is a rope bridge that is what it says in the tin. It's a rope bridge that you can go across, go to the Carrick and Reed Island. Um, it is beautiful and the day that we went out there there was a dolphin jumping up from the water down below us It was gorgeous and the Game of Thrones scene that is filmed here is I can't think of the The name of the character but Lord Greyjoy when he was murdered on the rope bridge or on the swaying bridge that you would have seen it is the Carrick and Reed rope bridge and that is the scenery that is around it and it is stunning but again, like previous sites, there's a huge tourist population that like to go and visit this. It's so much so that they've had to get timers installed for people going across the bridge that, you know, only so many people can be on the bridge at one time and big queues either side to get across or to go over to it. So it's definitely, you know, something that should be on your list early to see during the day. They are some of the popular Game of Thrones destinations if you would like to check them out. If you would like to do a bus trip of all these tours and you know you, you can just sit back and relax and maybe involve yourself in some Game of Thrones theories or conversations amongst the other travellers, I highly recommend doing that. I really really enjoyed the day. We, I think the tour that we done was like nine hours and we went to the Giant's Causeway as well as part of our trip. We went to Carrick and Reed. All the um, all the points of payment were paid as part of the original payment of going to the trip. So you don't have to get your money out to pay for anything else. Bar food if you want to stop and get some food. But we went with Macomb coaches and I loved the day. It was just, it was such a fun day. And we went when I think it was only on season six or seven of Game of Thrones. So there was so, so many hopeful things of what could have happened. Did anyone guess what would happen? No. They certainly did not. Another popular Game of Thrones tour is Game of Thrones tours. They can do pickups from Dublin or they can do pickups from Belfast and you know you can kind of pick which sort of tour you would like. I think in some of these tours they can give you cloaks and whatnot to dress up as some of the characters from some of the scenes that were filmed in those areas like um, Castle Ward or in Tullymore Forest or at Pike or wherever. So I'm going to link them below and another link I'm going to link below is is a self-guide Game of Thrones tour. It's, none of these are related to me. I'm not being paid by anyone to recommend these. As I said a few years ago before I even set up this business we done the McCombs coach tour and really 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 loved it and I would highly recommend that. Um, the self-drive self tours that I'm recommending I haven't done them myself, but I have looked at them. I have looked at the routes that people recommend and I can fully agree that they are pretty good routes if you are thinking of self-driving and doing a tour of the Game of Thrones locations in Belfast. Whew. So what should you bring if you're doing any of these tours, be it self-drive tour or a bus tour? You should dress appropriate to the weather. So in Ireland, we can have four seasons in one day. And especially if you're traveling from one place to the other, you never really know what sort of weather you're gonna have on said day. So we advise bringing weather appropriate and also just a waterproof coat for the rain. If you're doing a bus tour, we recommend you take a little backpack with your camera, your coat, um, you don't need an umbrella and a snack and a bottle of water. We are gonna advise you to bring a refillable bottle of water just to be more environmentally friendly and to, you know, fill up as you go along. Some of these destinations, there might be a bit of walking around involved, especially to Carrick and Reed Rope Bridge, around Giant's Causeway. And, you know, it's just, it's good to have it, to stay hydrated on your travels. Um, so yeah, so just a waterproof coat, little snack um, and a reusable bottle of water and your camera. 
So if you have any questions, please comment them below. I'll do my best to answer them or else I will give you guidance on where to go where your question could be answered elsewhere. Um, if you've done the Game of Thrones tours and you have a company you'd like to recommend, please comment them below as well because I'm hoping to do another tour going forward myself and I would like any of my viewers to be able to have, you know, the, the best recent tours put forward. So as I said, non-paid, I recommend Macomb's Coaches. And again, as I said at the start of the video, Perfect Irish Trip is a time-saving travel planning website. So we will help you plan out your travels. There is a small fee involved. There's nothing higher than 65 euro per customer. The lowest that we do is 25 euro 99 per customer. So please check us out. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you really like this video and you like this sort of content to help you planning your future travels to Ireland, please subscribe. And thank you again for watching. Have a great day. Bye.